So in this question, we have a TDM system, so time division um, multiplex. And we have pulse amplitude modulation, and it doesn't mention whether it's analog or digital, so we need to assume that it's analog. And we have five channels, and apparently each channel has the same bandwidth. So channel A will have a bandwidth of 8 kilohertz, Channel B might have a different spectrum, but will have a, a bandwidth of 8 kilohertz. C will be 8 kilohertz, etc. So each of these will need to be sampled, and we're told that they're sampled at the lowest adequate frequency, and we know that that is the Nyquist rate. So the sampling rate will have to be at least the Nyquist rate, which is twice the highest frequency, um, which is 2 times 8, 16 kilohertz. That's the sampling frequency. But the question is asking for the clock frequency. Now remember, because we're taking a sample of each of these, then each frame will have slots corresponding to each of the five channels. So the clock frequency will need to be five times higher than that um, sampling frequency. So the frequency of the clock will be equal to five times the sample rate. So five times 16 is 80 kilohertz. So that's assuming that we're sampling at the Nyquist rate. So in practice we would need something higher than that, but that's the minimum clock frequency that will um, support this TDM. Now in part B we're told that one of the signals has a higher bandwidth. So let's say one of the signals, let's say the last one E, had a greater bandwidth. Of 10 kilohertz. So how will that affect the clock frequency? Well clearly we will have to sample this, we'll have to sample this signal at a higher sample rate. So the sample rate, let's remove that, the sample rate for the uh, signal with the high frequency will now be at least 2 times 10, 20 kilohertz. But because we're using time division multiplexing, to keep things simple, we've assumed that all signals are sampled at the same rate. So for this particular signal, we'll be critically sampling. But for all the other signals, we'll be oversampling. So the sample rate will be 10 kilohertz for all of them. So the clock frequency will be 5 times 20, which is 100 kilohertz. It won't be, so we, we, we don't say that it's um, um, 4 times 16 and then 1 times 20. We don't do that. What we do is we assume that all the signals are sampled at the same frequency and therefore our clock frequency would increase from 80 kilohertz to 100 kilohertz. So that's your final answer.